guys and welcome back to our tutorial series I believe last time we left off we just created a scope for our gun and if I run the game I believe it was something like this yeah we just had a camera in front of the scope and every time we press and hold our right mouse button it would zoom in and if we release it it would zoom back out <coughs> but the thing was I don't like the way it's done because of this reason you can keep doing this I'm just gonna sort it out today I'm gonna be I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this using the field of view and <clears throat> by using that we no longer need our scope camera recreated so just either uh, turn it off or delete it and go to your main player and turn off the scope script because it's not gonna be used anymore Okay, uh, first of all, let's create a new JavaScript. Let's rename this to Scope FOV. Stands for Field of View. Now, before I do get started, I just want to check my main camera's field of view at the moment. It's 32. I'm going to reset that to default 60 and I'm just going to replace the gun seems to be okay so I'm save that off <clears throat> let's get started um, open your scope F FOV script in one develop right the first thing we want to do is define some variables <clears throat> we're gonna need a variable that says how much you want the field of view to go in so we're gonna say public for FOV field of view <coughs> in we're gonna set it as a float and it's gonna be equal to 35 for now <coughs> uh, next we're gonna create the speed it zooms in so public FOV speed. Uh, we're going to set as a float. It's going to be equals to five for the time being. We also want a boolean, like we did before, to check if aim is false or true. So, public aim <coughs> equal not. It's, we're going to define the boolean. <coughs> it's going to be equals to false with the default value save your script because you can never be sure when your computer crashes we also need uh, our default field of view so we're going to use that for whenever we run the program or not a program our game it's going to automatically pick our field of view position that it was in so if we zoom in it changes and then we're going to use the default to set it back to its original position it will be a bit more it will be explained a bit more when we get into the coding so it's, uh, I'm just going to call it public dff fov default field of view it's going to be a float and close it off and save it also we need a variable to hold our camera so we're telling it it's going to be using this camera this camera's field of view to zoom in so public var 
cam game object I forgot to put the var in front of this save that off minimize it I got unity sorry <coughs> attach this script to the main player Forgot the var over here as well and the aim. <laughs> yep, it's updated. Good. Uh, drag the main cam onto the cam variable. Save your game. And let's go start coding this. So how how would this work? Well, basically, first of all, we're going to check to see if the player hits the right input button again. So let's just start with that. So we need an if statement. If input dot get mouse button down is one, which is the right key. What do we want to do? We want to set the aim boolean to be equal to true. <clears throat> so we're gonna say aim equals true now we also want if we pick it up if we pick the if we release the mouse button we want to set it back to false so we go down here put another if statement if input dot get mouse button up one we're gonna set it back to false aim equals false now we're gonna start using the field of view so we said if we click the um, right mouse right mouse button in we want to search to true and if we release it it's going to set it back to false now we're going to start checking it so we're going to say if aim well if put an apostrophe sign and then aim that means basically at the top we said it's set to false and the not is checking to see if it's not fault if it's not false anymore and it's gonna put it as true so instead of us writing this every time aim equal to equals true we can just do that so if the false value is no longer true we wanted to do something and now we're gonna start playing around with the camera field of view so we're going to say cam, which is a variable we stored above, dot camera, dot field of view. And we're going to say it's equal to mats f dot lerp, open bracket, <coughs> camera, not camera, sorry, cam, dot camera, dot field of view how much we want the field of view to zoom in which is FOV in so FOV how fast we want to zoom in which is FOV speed and we're going to times that by time dot delta time we're going to close that off save it and now we're going to do the same thing for the false value so let's make a new statement if open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace right. if aim if it's still false we want to put cam 
dot camera dot field of view equals maths f dot lerp cam dot camera dot field of view and this time we're not gonna zoom in we're gonna zoom back to the default position so we're gonna use our default variable which was dff fov and we're gonna times that by the <coughs> forward speed as well so it zooms out using the speed which was used for the forward which was used for zooming in so fov speed and times that by time dot delta time again save that off make sure all the brackets are in the right place yep now before we do start check if it works we need to do one more thing we have to go to the top and create a new function function start you can do this in the wake as well basically as soon as it starts we want to pick our default position so we say dff default equals cam dot camera dot field of view so it's picking our field of view at the moment what it is so when it zooms in it changes to 35 and if we release it it's going to set it back to our default position which was 60 so we save it and let's test it all right let's test it out <coughs> Okay, let's run it. Oh. Hmm. It's working, but it's doing the complete opposite. I think I've set the booleans the wrong way around. Uh, so let's just go here. Let's remove this and put this here, see what happens. Yeah, there you go. That works perfectly. Now, there you go. We have our zooming in, our scope zoom using field of view. And this is how they use it in the game industries. As you can see, it looks a lot more smoothed. And um, it zooms in and it pans out smoothly as well. But you may be thinking, hold on, it's good and all, but the gun stays in the same position. How do we sort that out now? Well, that's pretty simple as well. All you need to do is um, get a scope animation. So your player's main position, arm position, just zooms in the front of the face. And then we do the camera zooming effect. And if we release it, it plays the ideal animation for the arms. I will be covering that in future tutorials as well. It won't be a long time, it will be really soon. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care.